But to get this load, we had to turn down, I don't know, it depends how you look at it, three loads or eight loads. I said, well, there's a Smithfield right across the street. How come I can't get a load from there? And they sent me the load I'm on now. Well, we're over here. Gonna put the truck together. I've gotta go, go to work tomorrow. Oh, I always hate going back to work. But I'm trying to have a good, better attitude. Because, you know, good attitude goes a long way. Now I gotta put all this stuff away. All my supplies, I got them yesterday. Our wipes and stuff away over here. These things are good for cleaning the truck with all the dog smudges. And these cleaning wipes are real good for cleaning, like wiping things down with. I've used them for years. Keep a lot of them because they're double the price at trick stops. Put my clothes away. My sheets on. This is where I keep all my clothes in here. Just kind of smash them in here. Did I do them right? Yeah, I did. Ugh. Well, everything's pretty much done. Bed's made, stuff's put away. As good as I'm gonna do it for tonight. Then tomorrow, at six o'clock in the morning, we can see if we can pick a load. Let's see what we get. Move on from there. Oh, we're going back to work. It's Thursday night. I don't know why I'm seeing it, but I am. We got us a load to Tar Heel, North Carolina from Smithfield over across the street over there. Go, get in there. See all the meals my wife prepares me? She's so nice. I gotta put them all in that freezer up there. Find what can fit. And she's got me zucchini, zucchini muffins, and breakfast burritos, and all the rolls from dinner, from Christmas dinner. Oh, Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. You gotta try to, it's like Jenga getting it all in here. I don't think it's all gonna fit up here. Not as much as I can. Gotta get the camera set up to record. Would you get out of the way? You're off your chain. You're off the rockers. Format successful. Make sure they all record and they're on the right time. We're over here at the uh, truck stop where we park on home time. It's about 8.30 p.m. We're getting ready to take off. And we're heading to Tar Heel, North Carolina. But to get this load, we had to turn down, I don't know, it depends how you look at it, three loads or eight loads. Cause let's see, we had the load, they sent us a load last night. It was picking up in Mount Sterling, Kentucky at the hot rocket plant. Ah, uh, pockets. And it was going out to uh, Casa Grande, Arizona, down there south of Phoenix. And it was paying like $3,300. Trouble was it had to deliver by uh, Saturday at uh, 4.30 p.m. So to do it, I would have had to get up. I would have had to got up and just ran out the door last night. 
and I didn't want to because my PTI was set for 8 o'clock in the morning. And if I left at 8 o'clock in the morning on it, there would have only been like five extra hours on the load, which wouldn't have been enough time to make it. It was almost 2,000 miles, so I could burn up five extra hours in like two seconds. So anyway, then I, they took that off me. And then this morning, since my PTA was set to 0800, I, I woke up at 6 a.m. and looked at load choice. And on load choice, there was, the first choices were three loads to, from Seymour, Indiana to Shelbyville, Tennessee, the egg loads. They were all three the same exact load. And I didn't want those because it was a 200 and, about 250 mile deadhead to go pick it up. I thought they had my truck as uh, being in Louisville, Kentucky. But it wasn't in Louisville, Kentucky. Or they had it here, but anyway, I didn't want those anyway. So then I waited another, uh, well, I got the guy to change it to Grayson because I thought it wasn't in Grayson. So he did that. And then three Mount Sterlings came up, two to somewhere in South Carolina, Walmart in South Carolina. Might have been Gaffney, somewhere over there. And then one to, to, uh, Bedford, PA. And I was thinking about taking the one to Gaffney. But then I decided since maybe it was messed up, I had another choice, another set of choices. So I decided not to take any of those. So that was six choices gone. And then I waited and about eight o'clock they sent me a load. It was picking up clear out past Louisville where I didn't want to go back to because I just left there come over here for home time and I didn't want to backtrack all the way to Louisville and I would have had to got up and ran out the door right then on that one and it was going over to North Carolina every load was going to like North Carolina or South Carolina almost except the one to Arizona and the one to PA but then I uh so I denied that one because it was paying $1,400 the one from over there north of Louisville to Dunn, North Carolina. So I didn't want to go all the way back there. And I said, well, there's a Smithfield right across the street. How come I can't get a load from there? And they sent me the load I'm on now. It's from over there, Smithfield, Grayson, Kentucky to Tar Heel, North Carolina. And it's paying 1200 which is only 200 less than uh, the one I would have had to gone 300 miles to get. Well, 180 did hit. So anyway, I got the one I'm on. So I guess you could count that as eight loads, eight loads declined. But oh well, I got the one I wanted. Anyway, off we go. fill up here in Grayson at the Loves in Grayson because it's the cheapest if I can see until you get back over to Illinois and it'll be a thousand miles till I get back over there so might as well fill up here Obsessed with checking this leak. Yeah, it had been leaking a little. See, see that orange on there? But it just drips a tiny bit. <sighs> Nothing major. Gotta top off these tanks. Because there's always space in there, you can put more. Same thing on this side. Pop her off. Change 
off. Okay. It was about 11 minutes on fueling is long enough. Thanks, man. Need a receipt? Nah. Have a good one. That sucks. Meat active, 28 degrees. <sighs> now I gotta get this down. Before I drop it. I can't hardly fit through here. They parked it so damn close. Uh, hate it. Blinky blinky. 251 735. it out of the 
alcohol so I can get do this without being a toothpick in there squirming through there I get it raised up and then I can get out here or I can do it faster Done. now we need to check our gauge on the back of there Thirty-two. Don't look like it's ever been calibrated. It's maybe thirty-two, thirty-two, two to hand. It's on thirty-two here as well. Let's see. Let's do our drop trailer report. Go over here to. Ugh. Pickup trailer inspection on here. Did you put your lock on the trailer? No. Uh, pouring the wrong one. Go out of here. We want to be in drop. Did you remove your lock? Yes. If not the 90, where? 01. Any product? No. Will the reefer start? Yes. The fuel level was filled because we just filled it over at Lowe's. Repair required, no. Dirty, no. Trash, no. Outside, dirty, yes. There was no damage. Nothing was wrong, so I just hit done and sent. Now with the RPIC trailer, change this from the one we dropped to the one we're picking up, which is 240556. 240556. Did you put your lock on the trailer? Yes. The reefer would start. The fuel level was just above half. We'll put half. Repair required? No. Dirty inside? No. Trash inside? No. Dirty outside? Yes. I didn't see any damage that I cared about. So we hit done and sent. That's it. And then we'll do our depart call. Our depart macro when we get out the gate because this is a place that keeps your paperwork till you leave. got to do our depart macro so we go into the load go to the first stop pick up hit depart do no this is not hazardous material it's 28 degrees right here it says 28 degrees so we put 28 and 28 and we look for the number of pallets right here 24 no we didn't pay for loading the shipper loaded it we didn't fingerprint it that means we didn't touch it we didn't use a pallet jack on it it's loaded on pallets shipper loaded it and counted it it's prepaid usually you can find it on here somewhere but I usually if I can't find it I just say that it's prepaid I'm not filling with it. It's prepaid. Total weight is 40,248 right here. Total pieces, 1,008. Master bill of lading is up here, the 4303 number. 4303, oops, we're in the wrong place. Go back, guys. 4303 Back door seal out is right here 251 735. 735. I'm pretty sure that's right. It was a 700, I remember. And he went and checked it too, so we're good. Is this a live load? No. We dropped trailer two two four zero seven seven seven. Pick up trailer two four zero five five six. 
That's it. We didn't drop a chassis or pick up a chassis. We don't have additional bills of lading, so we can hit done and send. And then make our depart call. And then leave and head to the receiver. That's it. Smithfield last night about 2 30 in the morning I stopped here at this rest area in Virginia because I was getting sleepy and I just didn't really care I got a bad attitude but we'll see what we can get now get down so I can make the bed the only thing that would have changed is like if I got over there this morning at like 7 o'clock in the morning, I could have picked the load then. So, it might bite me that way. Other than that, I don't see any difference. Because I'd had to take a break over there anyway. Just took it at Smithfield. Get the dog, the dog hair. See the dog hair come off of there? Look at the dog hair in the seat. You gotta vacuum that every day. Or you'd have a big mess. reefer because it's only on a half can't drop it on a half a tank but it was like almost on a half when I picked it up so I'll get reimbursed for almost all of this except for what I burned last night good enough Just a drink. Is that all for you? Yep. Would you like a receipt? Nope. Thank you. You too.
62 and like two dollars a mile took me since last night to get over here about 24 hours maybe a little less than 24 hours so that's about 1262 a day now I got another one I'm waiting for out of here Smithfield Tar Heel and it's picking up tomorrow so we'll move on from there y'all have a good one y'all take care y'all be nice I'll talk to y'all later bye